What's up everyone, we're back, it's 2022, we're doing some more live video game hunting. Uh, it's only the 4th of January, so I don't know if it's a bit too early in the year for, to get some stuff in the charity shops. Uh, we're out and about, we're doing a few errands, so we're going to hit a few and hopefully we get a bit of luck and pick up a few bits. Yeah, so first up was a success. We picked up seven games in there. Uh, so we're gonna head down to the next one, hopefully for similar luck. Uh, but seven games for seven euro, we're off to a good start for 2022. We found nothing in those two. Usual story in there. You only really get the odd game. Uh, so we're going to head down to probably just one more stop for today. Uh, see if we get in there, and then we're going to head up to CEX. We've got a, a six or seven games that we're going to trade in, so we'll see what we get for those. Busting after that pickup, uh, grabbed about 12 in the end, ended up putting four or five back, which is unusual for me. But there was so much good stuff there, uh, some absolute classics, as I'm sure you've seen. So we'll get back to the house and we go through everything now in a few minutes. Okay, so we didn't get a chance to get up to CX later on, so they were trading the traffic from the last charity shop up to there was just absolutely mental. So uh, we'll get up there later in the week. Uh, but I just popped into their website what games we have that we were going to bring up just to give a rough idea what we can expect in trade. Nothing too mental, obviously. This Wii Sports here is the heavy hitter with 11. Uh, so we can expect to get a total trade value of 26 as long as they take everything and we already have a 20 euro voucher so that's going to start us off for the year with 46 euro in trade credit so that's putting us in a really good place to start off with. Yeah so we'll try and get up to CEX by the end of the week, get that trade in done and see if we can pick it and decent up there. But the charity shops are there like oh my god, like the two small ones that had nothing I wasn't really expecting much from but the other two like 
there was people in and out every 10 15 seconds with bags of stuff so if you're not out hunting this week you need to get out to these cherry shops as many days in a row as you can i'm gonna try and get back out tomorrow and get back out friday as well um but normally i probably do a two weeks of game hunting before i have enough stuff to show for a video but like we just got so much stuff today i decided to do one uh, so first charity shop we picked up six xbox 360 games and a wii game these are all a euro each so seven games seven euro uh, we got fable 2 uh, this is the mtsc j version um but i've done a bit of research i'm almost certain that it'll play on apollo 360 i don't have one to test it so if i'm wrong someone can correct me in the comments about that uh, final fantasy 11 sorry i almost tripped over my roman numerals there and hopefully that's right away i'm gonna look like an egypt um, this is a three disc one and all three discs were in there and they're all in great nick uh, so that's a nice one to have on the shelf and get a play of someday just plain old assassin's creed i did have this on the 360 back in the day before i got it all away uh ghost recon future soldier again nothing mad in here like lost video game banger avatar the game i don't know i don't really have high expectations for it but uh, and then we picked up a copy of Wii Play. Again, this was another one that was a Euro, probably trade for the same or 150 back, but it's absolutely immaculate, nice case in it. So we'll switch the case out, uh, upgrade something that's in the collection, and then we'll put it into the trade pile. But then that last stop, like, um, they had probably, I don't know, about 20 games on the shelf. There was a few FIFA 6s and stuff like that, but they had some really nice titles as well. Um, so we got a copy of Need for Speed Underground 2. Uh, this is one from a few videos actually mrs retro games Ireland tried to pick it up in the charity shop for me but there was no disc but this time it's complete so that's a good one uh that's probably about a 15 euro game at the moment uh dynasty warriors 2 uh again all the playstation 2 titles in here are a euro and we've got some ps3 that are two euro as well um but this one sly raccoon uh i've never played it but it looks absolutely class it's a valuable game as well it goes for about 25 euro uh, unfortunately i have no manual in it uh, which is a shame but still really good one to have for the collection uh, a copy of unreal tournament uh, again complete silent scope nothing mental for these next few either but good stuff for the collection uh matt hoffman's pro bmx2 some of these can be really good so we'll have to give that a wallop uh, this was my only slip up of the day. I uh, picked up Fast and the Furious, or what I thought was Fast and the Furious. It is the box, it is the manual, but I had a copy of Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain inside. So uh, the Smackdown one isn't actually too bad, it's worth a few bobs. So again, we'll just keep it added to the mishmash pile that we have and we'll complete it at some stage. Uh, so moving on to the four PS3 titles we got. Uh, we got Infamous and Infamous 2. So there too, we'll get a play out of someday. Uh, Far Cry 3, again, all pretty much what they're worth. Um, I got Dead Space 2. Retro Red Steve been wrecking my head now because he told me to play the first and I still haven't gotten around to it, so now I have two of them to get through. And then for five euro, they had a copy of Need for Speed on the PS4. Um, that's like still selling for 25 euro, so for five euro, we can't go wrong. Um, we actually have a PS4, we have a few games, so that'll be one that we'll get a little game at some stage. So I'm just very quickly going to go through the value of what we picked up today. It's something I want to do on the channel going forward. I've sort of become conscious of the fact that not everyone really knows exactly what all these games are worth. I've always just assumed people watching did. Um, so I'm just going to show what they sell for, uh, what you'd get in trade, and just to show how easy it is to build a good game collection for cheap. Um, and just to give people a little idea, you know, value of games in case they see them without hunting themselves. Uh, so we'll do that very quickly and then we'll do a very quick wrap up. Okay, so I just threw a list of everything that we picked up today into CX, just to give a rough idea uh, what the value of these things are. Just something I wanted to do going forward with the channel. Uh, just for people watching that aren't really too sure about the values of games, just to see what you could probably expect to pay for it if you bought it in CEX versus uh, the way we picked up the charity shops. Uh, but also what you can get for your duplicates and trade. So nothing too mental here. This last obviously is a bit questionable because there's two versions of it on the website. One is shown as worth 50 cent and this one's shown 15, but this is the cover uh, that's on the one that I have. So. I don't know, a quick look on eBay says it probably goes for about a fiver, but um, it doesn't really make any odds anyway. It's one we're going to be keeping for the collection. Probably that uh, we Play is probably the only one that we're going to be trading off. Uh, it's a nice case, I already have it, so um, we'll probably do a case switch and add that to the next trade pile. Um, but yeah, nothing too mad. Uh, Need for Speed for the PS4, they're selling for 25 and we picked it up for 5 so that was pretty good going. And then just down at the very end here, um, 
Need for Speed on the Ground 2. One I thought that Mrs. Retro Games Ireland picked up a few weeks ago, but there was no disc in it, but we found it today. Um, but then that Sly Raccoon, uh, 25 it sells for. That's a class little edition for the collection. No manual with that one, unfortunately, but um, still pretty good little bundle. Uh, so I think when you tot these up, it you know, roughly adds up to about €145. Euro, and I think we spent about 23 in total, so a uh, really good day all around. Yes, yeah, so there you go, like spent whatever it was, 27 euro, and we come away with 145, 150 euro in value just in games. Uh, this week we don't really have much to trade off, so it's pretty much all going to go on the shelf. Um, but again, we do have that little trade pile to bring up, uh, so we'll try and get something else out of that. Uh, we're going to try and get back out game hunting a couple of times before the end of the week, and hopefully we'll have another game hunting video out by the end of next week. So just thanks again for watching, uh, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.